what you would Uh, hello, hello, Samara. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired. Yes, I'm pretty tired today. But here I am, and you? I'm tired too. <laughs> Do we feel, okay. feel feel the same? Yes, today was yes. was moved, uh, movido, right? For me yes. and for oh. you too. Okay, but very busy at work as always. Yeah, yeah. We are going to raise. Uh, there is a saying. There is a saying that people say when when you when you talk about working, about sleeping, etc., about doing things too much. We are going to rest when we die. With what? We are going to rest, like, like sleeping. Ah, we are yes. going to rest until we die. Ah, yes. <laughs> you agree, right? With that? <laughs> yes. That's a saying. Dicho. Un dicho. Yes. yes. A saying. Yes. Okay, but while we are alive, we have to do many things. Many things. Okay. Uh, Hector, Hector, hello, Hector. How's it going? Good night. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. I am Perfect. fine. Perfect that you are fine. That's that's cool. Uh, hello, Damaris. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good I'm evening. Fine, teacher. Okay, when when are you gonna send me uh, some pastry to taste from the bakery? What? <laughs> uh -huh. We don't say what. No decimos what. Cuando no hemos entendido, no decimos what. Decimos, uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Uh -huh. what, what is next? ¿Qué sigue luego? Repeat what? again. I do ah, repeat, repeat again. Repita de nuevo. Ah, pero dígamelo más formal porque así es bien, bien heavy. Will, will you please repeat me again? Repeat me. Mm, okay. <laughs> Kinda, más o menos. Could, uh, excuse me. Could you repeat that again, please? Excuse me, could you repeat that again, please? Ah, okay, that's one option. Ahí hay una opción. La otra, uh, excuse me, could you repeat that for me, please? Can you repeat it for me, please? Excuse me, can you repeat it for me, please? Okay. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, when, when are you going to send me some pastry, cachitos, yoyos? Uh, viejitas for me to taste pastry from ah, the when do you want uh, viejitas <laughs> <laughs> okay yes. I send viejitas I send you viejitas okay very cool pastry is pan dulce in English it's not sweet bread in English it isn't it's not sweet bread it's, uh, let me, oh no, this is another different thing. Let me show you pastry. Pan dulce is pastry in English. Any type. Pa paste, pastry, let's see, pastry. Check. I didn't know, teacher. But now you know. Okay, don't say uh, sweet bread. No diga sweet bread, right? Pastry in general. Pastry. Uh -huh. read, can you read the definition, Chomara? Read, read the definition, please. Yes, yes. Um, a, uh, a food made from a mixture of flour, fat and water, rolled, flattened, either wrapped around or put over or under other foods. And then baked. Then baked, correct. 
Okay, there it is. Pastry. If you want to be a specific, mention the specific name. Viejita, yoyos, uh, pegados, etc. etc. But this is general. For general, for the general food, pastry. Okay, Damaris got it? Yeah, teacher. Okay, guys, perfect. Uh, welcome. Today is the final class. Today we separate for a while, uh, sadly, because today we finish. Let me show you the presentation. We are not going to study grammar. The topics are finished. We are covered about all the topics that the course contains. Okay, so no more grammar, no topics. It is a little bit different for the final class. All right. Hector, can you help me reading this, please? Okay, teacher. Gra gra congratulations. This is the end of your course. The one that's practic constancy and work with the dedication are able to see the result at the end of the path. Perfect. Uh, Maris, can you read it? Uh, can you read it, please? This is the end of your course. The one that practice constancy and work with dedication are able to see the result at the end of the part. Thanks, thanks, Ken, thanks. Yomara, you finally. In the same paragraph? Yeah, from the top because oh. Damaris didn't say congratulations, guys. She forgot about the congress. Okay. <laughs> congratulations. This is the end of your course. The ones that practice constancy and work with dedication are able to see the results at the end of the path. Thank you, guys. And the meaning of that? Meaning. It's important you. You get it. Clear. The meaning. The meaning uh, in, the, in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Ah, well, eh, si uno practica constantemente en lo que uno está aprendiendo con dedicación, uno va a ser capaz de ver los resultados en el camino. Al final, right? At the end. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the path. Okay, guys, practice, practice constancy and and work with dedication, and you will see the results. That's for everything, not only for English. Perfect. Thanks. Final class, guys. Thank you for being uh, punctual in the class. That is what I'm gonna remember. That Maris was punctual. Shomar as well, Hector as well, etc. Okay, good. This is a, an activity that I have for you guys. I think this is important to take on account, tomar en cuenta, to take on account because you are uh, learning English. This is pretty important in my opinion. So please, Pay attention, we are gonna check the video twice. Once, only the video, only listening. The second time, listening and, and reading with uh, with the paragraph. Okay, welcome, Carla. Great that you are in, in the class, in the final class as well. Okay, Carla, can you... Good evening. Good evening. Can you read the indication, please? English is great, part two. Richard finds out about all the different kinds, kinds of English and... Um, wait, I, I mean the cell phone and I... Okay, I, no problem. Some of the hundreds of thousands of students who come to Great Britain to learn English every year. Okay, thank you. Here is a video, guys. Please attention to it. I'm gonna play it twice.
I've come here to the British Council who work hard to build cultural relations between Britain and the rest of the world. And the English language is a big part of that. Let's find out more. The British Council provides resources for people learning English and also teachers of English. Martin Peacock is the Director of Global English Product Development. Martin, tell me about English as a global language. OK, well, many people talk about English as being a global language. And the, the reasons for that are the widespread use of English. It's used in education. Um, it's used in science and technology. And importantly, English is also used in business. Are there many global languages? Well, no, not really. I mean, there's the global language, which is English. In the sense that English is used in these many different contexts, there's only one. There are other languages which, which are used very widely and spoken by many people in many different places. Cantonese, for example, the variant of Chinese is spoken in many different places. So it's global in a geographic sense, and it can be global in the numbers. But in terms of the use in different areas of, of education, science, research. English is the only global language. Are there different types of English? Well, yes, there are lots of different types. Uh, there's different accents of English. I come from the north of England, where I have a particular accent. So within England itself, within the UK, there are many variations in, uh, in English pronunciation. Uh, and that extends globally. So you see English in America, used in Australia, which is different in accent and also in usage as well. And what about the impact of technology on a language? In the past, uh, new words were, were coined by people. It might have been in a speech or in a newspaper article or in a book. Uh, they were written down and then they were, other people adapted them and used them. And that could be quite a slow process. And new words might come into language over a long period, 10, 20 years. So technology allows languages to evolve much more quickly. So technology can change the language, but in what way does it help people to learn the language? Well, it helps in many ways. In the past, students in locations in other countries didn't have access to much genuine English. They may have a book or an odd newspaper, but what the internet allows them is to read and often read and translate languages like English uh, on a massive scale. People learn English for different reasons, and knowledge of the language is often important in fields like medicine, business and computing. English is becoming more and more important in order to communicate in the international world. English opens doors to employment, education and mobility, and it helps teachers and learners engage across the globe. One of the best ways to learn English is to study in Britain. But what is it actually like to learn English here? Clara, could I have a volunteer to come up and show us the present perfect examples? My name is Clelia, I am 26 and I come from Italy. My course at the Northwest Academy was very good. I studied grammar, uh, conversation, and also words linked with my work placement. I have a selection of questions here that you're going to discuss in your group. The teacher was very good. She has uh, always been available for problems during the lessons and outside the lessons. Over 600,000 learners a year come to Britain to help achieve their ambition, to experience modern UK life. My name is Maximiliano. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Venezuela. Everyone here is very friendly. When you tell them that you're a foreigner, everyone is very welcoming. Like everyone tries to speak to you. Everyone like tries to just stay close to you and ask you about your experience, how how your life is in your own country, and that actually helps you a lot. Like when you're not a native native speaker. My name is Alexander. My surname Igorov. Uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm come to the UK from Russia, from Moscow. I'm studying here business uh, English. Sometimes we have uh, general lessons about social English. I'm engineer in the building company. I will use uh, English in my, in my job. I think uh, it will help me to improve my career. My name is Anthony and I just turned 20 from last February and I'm from Malaysia. 
people here are very nice. The place is amazing. And learning here is a really different experience. So just come over and check it out. Well, they seem to be enjoying learning English. And what I've learned is, is that the English language is more exciting than I'd first realized. And maybe, just maybe, in the future, I won't have to worry quite as much about my grammar and spelling. Okay. The first time, the second time, we are going to watch the video, but reading the transcript so you can get a better understanding about the video. Just let me accommodate this. Oh, just a sec. Ah, here it is. Okay. I will be uh, scrolling down so you can read while you watch. Okay. I've come here to the British Council who work hard to build cultural relations between Britain and the rest of the world. And the English language is a big part of that. Let's find out more. The British Council provides resources for people learning English and also teachers of English. Martin Peacock is the director of Global English Product Development. Martin, tell me about English as a global language. Okay, well, many people talk about English as being a global language. And the, the reasons for that are the widespread use of English. It's used in education, um, it's used in science and technology, and importantly, English is also used in business. Are there many global languages? Well, no, not really. I mean, there is the global language, which is English. In the sense that English is used in these many different contexts, there's only one. There are other languages which, which are used very widely and spoken by many people in many different places. Cantonese, for example, the variant of Chinese is spoken in many different places. So it's global in a geographic sense, and it can be global in the numbers. But in terms of the use in different areas of, of education, science, research. English is the only global language. Are there different types of English? Well, yes, there are lots of different types. Uh, there's different accents of English. I come from the north of England, where I have a particular accent. So within England itself, within the UK, there are many variations in, uh, in English pronunciation. Uh, and that extends globally. So you see English in America, used in Australia, which is different in accent and also in usage as well. And what about the impact of technology on a language? In the past, uh, new words were, were coined by people. It might have been in a speech or in a newspaper article or in a book. Uh, they were written down and then they were, other people adapted them and used them. And that could be quite a slow process. And new words might come into language over a long period, 10, 20 years. So technology allows languages to evolve much more quickly. So technology can change the language, but in what way does it help people to learn the language? Well, it helps in many ways. In the past, students in locations in other countries didn't have access to much genuine English. They may have a book or an odd newspaper, but what the internet allows them is to read and often read and translate languages like English uh, on a massive scale. People learn English for different reasons, and knowledge of the language is often important in fields like medicine, business and computing. English is becoming more and more important in order to communicate in the international world. English opens doors to employment, education and mobility, and it helps teachers and learners engage across the globe. One of the best ways to learn English is to study in Britain. But what is it actually like to learn English here? Clara, could I have a volunteer to come up and show us the present perfect examples? My name is Clelia, I am 26 and I come from Italy. My course at the Northwest Academy was very good. I studied grammar, uh, conversation, and also words linked with my work placement. I have a selection of questions here that you're going to discuss in your group. The teacher was very good. She has uh, always been available for problems during the lessons and outside the lessons. Over 600,000 learners a year come to Britain 
to help achieve their ambition to experience modern UK life. My name is Maximiliano, I'm 23 years old and I'm from Venezuela. Everyone here is very friendly. When you tell them that you're a foreigner, everyone is very welcoming. Like everyone tries to speak to you. Everyone like tries to just stay close to you and ask you about your experience, how how your life is in your own country, and that actually helps you a lot. Like when you're not a native native speaker. My name is Alexander. My surname Igorov. Uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm come to the UK from Russia, from Moscow. I'm studying here um, business uh, English. Sometimes we have uh, general lessons about social English. I'm an engineer in the building company. I will use uh, English in my, in my job. I think uh, it will help me to improve my career. My name is Anthony and I just turned 20 from last February and I'm from Malaysia. The people here are very nice, the place is amazing, and learning here is a really different experience. So just come over and check it out. Well, they seem to be enjoying learning English, and what I've learned is, is that the English language is more exciting than I'd first realised. And maybe, just maybe, in the future, I won't have to worry quite as much about my grammar and spelling. Okay, that's it. That's it. Video is done. Question, question for you guys. Uh, let's see, serious question. Uh, let's see, Damaris, do uh, you have any any goal? you have any ambition? Any reason why you started studying English here? Uh, the micro, micro, microphone. Yes, I have any ambition because I travel uh, in the United States two years, uh, to, uh, once in the years, and I need to learn for understand in the people in, in airport on a lot of places. Okay, so your your goal is to communicate, right? If you travel, yes. uh, communicate yes. and skills. Okay, pretty good. Uh, what about you? Uh, let's see. Let's see, continue with Hector. What's your ambition? What you want to to get from studying English? Okay, sure. Yes, I am very. I am have very. A lot of goals for my life because I need to improve my English because I need to have some something uh, for my family and I wanna be more uh, more I wanna I wanna I would like have a, a new car, a new a new job, um, and and everything I I everything I wanna I I would like to have. To. All right, perfect. You want a new car, a new lifestyle. Okay, that's great. Perfect. What about Carla, Alicia, uh, and you? Ambitions, goals, things you want to get? Yes, I, I like the English, uh, but I need to practice more. And that is the purpose. Um, how I fluent speaking for understanding other people and for other people to understand to me. And yes, and in the future travel and at the present uh, with the study, there are more opportunities uh, now in the English. Yeah, that's right. Those are some keywords that you mentioned, uh, opportunities, 
uh, travel, right? As same as the marriage. Perfect. Okay, good, good, good. Chomara? Uh, yes, I would like to learn fluent uh, English because it's the, uh, the language more, more uh, in the, the world. Yeah, the first language uh, to communicate in many countries. And I would like to uh, understand and speak in everywhere where the language is needed. And to, to teach to my kids. And I have some friends from the United States. And, and when I talk with them, <laughs> I I have a, a level very uh, very slow when I speak with them and I I need to I need to speak fluent. This is my my goal. Okay, pretty good. And you will get it if you work on that with uh, constancy. With education, you will get it. There is no doubt. Okay, good. Ada, and you, you have a, a goal. Maybe you want to mention an ambition you are pursuing. Ada or Nelly? Nelly says, oh, oriente. I don't know if you don't have microphone. But you can share uh, in the chat, guys, if you cannot speak. Ah, there is Daniel. He's joined already. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hey, hi. Me? Welcome. I'm sorry because I have a problem with my connection. And finally, I I got it. Okay, you, you are joined. Okay, perfect. Uh, Daniel, we just watched a video in which... In which... Uh, in which part it is being discussed, why English language is important, uh, why you study. We watched uh, some students there studying in, in England and they shared uh, the, the experience they are getting in studying English abroad. I wanna ask you, uh, Daniel, what are your ambitions or you have an ambition? And the reason why you're studying English, and and that's it. Okay, okay, teacher, can you hear me? Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think the language English is very interesting. Uh, and personality, I want to continue learn English because I have a big expectation because in my work um exists many opportunity to uh to get um another course for improve other kind of skill in agriculture another kind of or topic relational with uh, with my good with my job and and around the world exists many, many um, kind of course, and I want to get, uh, get, I don't know how to say, catch this opportunity for my own, my own, own, um, for my own job in this case. Okay. Um, knowledge, maybe. Yeah. yeah, this is the word. Thank you, Simona. Okay, pretty cool. See, you have uh you have ambitions, you are you have things that you want to get. Okay, but remember, nothing happens because because of yes, porque see, right? It is it is said like that, but we have to make our part, 
we have to continue growing, learning, etc. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, guys. Okay, after watching the video, we have some tasks. Uh, Daniel, what is the indication? Can you read it, please? Sure. Uh, the first indication in this case is uh, English is great, but the event that happened in the video in the right order. Okay. We we just uh, watched the video. Guys, can you make can you make these sentences to be in order? Can you order them as the video showed? What was the first thing that maybe you remember in, in the video? What was the first thing that happened? Richard visits the British Council. Council. Ah, oh, the location, the place. Ah, all right. Richard, remember, Richard is, is the, the presenter. All right, that's number one. And uh, what is in your opinion, number two, what's the sentence that you would place in this part? Richard asked about English as global language. Ah, this For one. my opinion. In number two, okay, no problem. Um, Hector, number three, in the correct order. Mm. Okay, teacher. Uh, Mar Martin, explain how technology can help learn of English. Ah, okay. In in your case, that is in in the in the place already. You don't need to make any changes. Okay, continue. Uh, Carla, number four. Richard has asked if technology changes language. This one? Yes. As number four, okay. Uh, okay, it's already placed. And next, what is next, guys? Next, next. Some people talk about um, the of different the types of English. Ah, okay. Hector says that some people talk about their experiences of studying in Britain. Uh, this means uh, the, the students, the students who appeared in the video. And you, Carla, which is the one that you say that goes after language? I I think before the if technology uh, is the other sentence Richard asks about different types of English. Ah, okay. You mean you mean that this one goes in this place? Is that right? Um, next. Ah, okay. Before, before the if technology, Richard asks if technology changes language. Ah, tra okay, let's see. This one in which place? In the last, in the anterior. Uh, and the, the in the, the previous, okay, in this place, mm -hmm. yes, like that. Then Richard asks if technology changes language, correct? Uh, so, Mara? Opinion, what is next? 
Next sentence. Okay. Uh huh. Only one, one more, one more. One more, please. Okay, no problem. We can leave it as you see them so we can check if they are correct or not. I will click on finish. Let's see. Oh, guys, no, only two correct. Oh, okay. We need to watch again the video so we can place in our minds in the correct order. But don't worry, it's, it's only a practice. You can redo this exercise uh, with a link. The link is here, check, in the presentation. Okay, next, uh, next task. Hector, indication. Choose the best answer according to the video. Choose the best Answer. Answer according to the video. Answer according to the video. Okay. Uh, yes, Hector. Number one. The bridge. The bridge council. What is the correct option to complete this? You can read the sentences. Read them, please. Work to make culture relationship with other countries. Okay, so Mara, number two, option two. Gives help to people who want to learn English. Uh, okay, but remember that you need to complete it with this. Carla? Uh Makes resources avail available for people who teach English. Uh, Damaris? Mm. All? All the, all the above are true. All of the above are true. Okay. Um, according with the video, the British Council, what is the correct option in your opinion? One, two, three, or or four. Four. The second one. The second one. Uh huh. Okay. Gives about read. You can read the sentence because the purpose is that you practice. The Gives help to people who want to learn English. Uh, the British Council gives help to people who want to learn English. Okay. In your opinion, is this one? Carla says, all of the above are true. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one, no problem. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, Damaris, can you read the next one? Martin, Peacock. Teacher, what is the meaning Peacock? Uh, that is his last name, but in... Ah, okay. in... Uh... But wait, Peacock is an animal. Uh, let's see, an animal with a beautiful feather, beautiful feather, blue, green, I don't know what else, a yellow maybe. A peacock is, is a bird uh, that makes this. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a bird. Uh -huh. Martin Peacock thing. There are many global languages. Ah, you say that this is the one? Yes. Okay, Martin Peacock thinks there are many global languages. Language. Okay, languages, because he's, he's in plural. Languages. It's plural. Languages. Uh -huh. Because of the letter S. That's it. Okay, no, not bad. Uh, Daniel, maybe you can guess because you didn't watch the video, unfortunately. No, I don't see the video, teacher. Sorry. But just guess. Let's see 
if you can guess it. You can read it, no problem. Okay, this is Martin say that English is a global language because. Mm -hmm. Option one. It's, it's used. used in a lot of different contexts globally. Option two. There are many different varieties of English. Three. It's spoken by large numbers of people. Four. In the last one, all of the above are true. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just to guess which one, in your opinion, is the correct sentence to complete. Any anyone that you that you say this is the one. The first one is used in a lot of different contexts globally. Uh, okay, all right, tomorrow no problem. I'm gonna place it there. It is already, and let's see, let's see the next one. Carla. Martin says that technology has. Speeding up the way that language has changed lets people read more authentic English, lets people translate languages, or all of the above are true. Okay. Uh, Carla, which one do you think is the correct sentence to complete this? Carla, Carla, which one? Um, how to speed up the way that the that language can be. Uh, has speeded, speeded up. Has speeded up. Okay. Speed up. Speeded, yes, because if you remember, verbs ending in D, Add ed, but in the pronunciation is with id, spirit, spirit up. Okay, uh, okay, let's leave it. Hector, the last one. Clary, Maximiliano, Alexander, and Anthony are all the study English in the break time. All agree the British people are nice. All say that English will, will help them in their career. All lot of the above are true. Are true. Okay, Hector, uh, what about uh, the answer in this one? What's the correct sentence in your opinion? Um, Remember, all, uh -huh. all. All say that English will help them in their career. Ah, okay, number three. All right, perfect. Okay, let's see, let's finish. -da 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 -da. Feedback. <clears throat> oh, no, total score is one out of five, 20% only. Ah, okay, guys, this is going to be your homework. Complete the video. Okay, or rewatch or watch again the video and complete the assignments with the correct sentences. Okay, you can do it one more time, no problem. And let's see, we have uh, the task number three. Carla, can you read the indication? Maybe you can get a better luck with this one. Carla, yes. English, English is huh? great. Put the words in the right spaces. Uh, this is a, com a complexion exercise. Okay, Daniel. Daniel, hey, the, Daniel. Uh, the huh? British Council provides. What word? What is the most appropriate word 
in your opinion to complete Resources. this one? Resource for people learning English. The number, no, the first one. Uh, resources, because it's resources. Plural. Okay. Yes. It's plural, resources. And that's it, okay. And para na, Shomara, number two. Um, <clears throat> I am the phone. It's so difficult uh -oh. to, to pass okay. it on the screen. Okay, okay, no problem. Sí. Uh, Damaris. Uh, ah. Okay, there are other languages which are used very. Very, very, very. Uh, <laughs> If you want to get uh, more ideas, read the complement. Very, very ah. widely. Widely, okay. Okay. It might be, right? Yeah. Widely. That's it. Uh, Damaris, number three. In the past, new words were... New words were... Read the complement, because if you don't read the complement... It's kind of complicated. Where container coined coined D. It's with D coined coined coined. Okay, coined by people in a speech or newspaper article or in a book or. In a book. That's it. Hector, four. Uh, the internet allows people to read and translate language like English on a massive. On a massive and what's the word? So, uh, um, in Fields. Fields. Scale. Ah, scale. A scale, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, please. Number five, guys. Knowledge of the language is often important in... In... Fields. Okay like medicines, business, and computing. Okay, David, you see that field Fields. goes, you say that field goes in this one. Okay, pretty good. And, and hello, I hadn't, I hadn't watched you. I hadn't Don't seen you. Okay, thanks. Six. English. English opens. Opens what? Doors. Okay, kind of obvious, right? Kind of obvious. Opens doors. To employment, education, and mobility. Mobility. That's it. Seven. Mm hmm English helps teachers and learners across the globe. Uh, across the globe. In English. English. In engage. Engage. Uh, okay. To get fa that is to get familiar with, to get in contact, uh, to know, etc. Okay. And number eight. I just. The final, the final word. Can you read it complete? I just turned 24 last February and I'm from Malaysia. Okay, David, you can you can read it, no problem. Okay, I'm just turned it 24 last February and I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia, okay. I just turned uh, is D. Pronunciation D. I just turned. Okay. Uh, turned D. Turned. 
turned. This D, turned. Okay. okay, let's click on finish. Let's see if you did great or not. This task number three. Ta -da -da -bam. Ah, yes, I knew. I knew it 100%. This was the lucky task because the other two, that, okay, rewatch the video for the other two. Uh, task number four, uh, David. We pay attention. Uh -huh, it's, it's, you need to pay more attention to it. Yes, it's true. David. Okay, great. English is great. English, uh, be careful, not all adverbs need. I'll. L Y. And what? Y. Okay. L Y. Later, L -Y. right? L Y. Add add L Y if it is needed. Ah, uh, okay. English is used very widely. Widely is an adverb. But not all adverbs end in L A Y and add L Y to the adverbs in these sentences, but only if necessary. If uh, L Y isn't necessary, write. Write uh, uh, a slash. This is a, uh, slash. a slash. Okay. Like the metal group, a slash. Uh -huh. Know it? Have you heard about the group? Slash. Uh -huh, okay. Good. Portuguese. Portuguese is a widely spoken language. Okay. In this one, LY or a slash? LY. 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 Okay. Because it's telling you. Ah, uh, widely, the pronunciation is widely, is an adverb. Okay, most, uh, most or, or many adverbs, you're going to see, or you're going to check that they have L-Y. Gladly, cheerfully, uh, I don't know, sadly, for example, etc. Okay. I... I thought the film was deep moving. Aha, uh -huh. ah, it means that you felt, that you felt emotional, or you felt emotion when you watched the movie. Deep is an adjective to make it adverb, L-Y or no L-Y. I think L Y because it's deeply. Deeply. Okay. All right. Okay, L Y. There it is. Next. Uh huh, guys. What? What about the practice? Practice, guys. Practice. I wanted to sleep late in the holidays, but I was all good. Why? Dash awake at 6 30. Okay, in this one, LY or a slash? Do you need LY in this one? Do you need it or no need it? No, because it's the same context in a in a on a line. Okay, so do I place LY? Yes or no? No. No. It's last. Uh, okay. No problem, guys. Um, let's see. Let's click on finish because they are too many to complete and we have only five minutes. Okay. But remember, you can redo the practice. There is a video. You have the transcript. You can check vocabulary anything in this part and the tasks you have the option to do them again okay no problem uh let me click on finish Ta -da -da -da. 
Uh, ah, yeah, the three that you said, they were correct. Yes, that's it. Okay, that is correct. The previous one is adverb, correct? In adverb. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, um, guys, final final words that you would like to, to share with the class. Today, we finish. We have four minutes for the class. Final words? Thank you, teacher Luis, or Mr. Luis. As you prefer, I don't have issues. Uh, Mr. Luis, Louis, etc. No problem. No, my Thank pleasure. Thank you for your time. My pleasure to be with you in, in this course. Hope uh, you have learned uh, a little bit from me uh, during the classes. Thanks. Yes, I learned a lot. Thank you. Ah, no, not at all. In absolute. Okay, that's why I am here for you, for you to help you a little bit with you, with your learning. The teacher Rebecca told me that she she are she are very sick, very sick. Sorry, she are. Oh, okay. Let's let's make another yes, class. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, okay, no problem. That happens, guys. <laughs> it happens to me. Me pasa también, but okay. No, hey, teacher. No, I it. yeah, I I feel very happy because I learn a lot of things with you. Uh, I think you are a very uh, special teacher, and and a good person. Thank you, teacher, for your time, and I hope that your your class improve our English uh, for me and I think for my my classmate too. Thank you. Thanks, Emil. Appreciate, appreciate that. Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah. I, I was glad to be with you. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure for me too, to stay in this course with all of you and I hope continue for the next one. Pretty really good. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Nelly. Yes, Hector. I hope to see you in another model teacher. Okay, sure, surely. Yeah, maybe in advanced, uh, advanced 100 level. Maybe. <laughs> okay. You would be speaking very fast, using a lot of vocabulary. We so see you in the TOEFL teacher. Sorry? <laughs> We see you in the TOEFL. Ah, in the in the final test in the TOEFL. Yeah, of course. TOEFL <laughs> is it's kind of hard, but he, remember only two words: dedication and the other ones. Uh, uh -huh. Constancy. And constancy, yes. They are together, together, together. Okay, guys. Uh, the Thank class you is very over. Much. Thank you. Please complete the assignments. Complete the assignment, section five, the final exam, if you are pending. Uh, a pleasure to be with you. Hope to see you sure. in, in another level. Uh -huh. What do you say despedida in English? Um, despedida, let's see, <laughs> despedida. Fired. What? From a job, yes. De un trabajo, sí, fired. <laughs> no, uh, despedida uh, for in this context, this situation. Ah, uh, okay. It's, uh, okay, the context is different, yes. Uh, despedida. Um, y se I, marchó. I remember that <laughs> there is a word. Guys, if if you want to leave, you are free. I'm just checking uh, Chomara's <laughs> question. I guess there is a word that is far, far away. The chance. Thank you very uh, much for help us to improve our knowledge in, in English and try to use the grammar when we are speaking. Okay, not a problem, Carla. You have the classes, guys, the presentations. You have like two weeks to download the presentations so you can keep them. After two weeks, I delete them because of the space for el espacio, right? Uh, well, teacher, I okay. just want to 
I just yes. wanted to say that the despedida are always sad. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, that is that is the usual that people say. <laughs> Farewells are sad. Okay, I think that is the word. Uh, Shomara. Faro, farewell, farewell. I don't remember the exact grammar. Let me check because I need to check. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. Paul. Thank I you so much, guys. Night, Pretty cool to be with you. Pretty cool. Thank Extend you. Uh, one hour uh, more because for the farewell. <laughs> ah, there, there, the second word. Farewell with E in the I chat. Okay. In the chat. Check the chat. Take the care, chat. everybody. Maybe Take we'll care, guys. See you next level. See you soon. Hopefully. See you. <laughs> bye bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Take care. What also for on your teacher? They left. Uh -huh. they, they, they departed <laughs> because okay, it's sure. thank you thank you, thank you. I, I have a great experience with you thank you appreciate that Delia. thank you so much thanks a lot okay bye bye okay. Sure. bye bye take care continue studying okay thank you Blessing. bye bye see you bye